Today, we are very fortunate to have my trading mentor and personal friend in the building. His name is Igor. You might have seen him present with me at a Forex seminar at a South African gala dinner or elsewhere. Well, Igor has been a mentor to not only me, but also to hundreds and thousands of readers on his website. And so without wasting any more time, let's get straight into today's Forex trading interview with my personal mentor and friend. So Igor, what first got you into trading? I started trading in the end of 2002. The main reason that I got into trading was because one of my colleagues was trading at the time. We worked in the open office and I overheard him talking to his broker. Before that, I came from ex-communist country. I didn't have a clue what trading or investing was. One day I asked him a couple of questions. I then went out to buy a book to start trading upon it. Little by little I get knowledge about trading. I started trading warrants on JSE, then I moved to the trading all the futures and at a later stage Forex. What's the most important rule you've ever come across that's helped you succeed in Forex? When you start trading, the most important thing is to risk as little of your money in any of your trades. I would say less than 1%, even most books teach you to risk no more than 2%. The less you risk, the more chances you will have to survive long enough to learn how to make money trading. Trading is not about become rich quickly. If you think that way, then you can say it's a blow your account quick scheme. If you plan to trade for the next 30, 40 years, the first 3 or 4 years are not important at all. Unfortunately, there are so many sharks out there ready to take your money as they preach about risking 20 to 30% on each trade. It's easy for beginners to become their prey. To put it shortly, your main job is to protect your capital. Out of all the financial instruments, why do you choose Forex? I don't know, it's just one step in my trading life. One morning I woke up and I didn't like trading the OLZ anymore after trading it for 13 years. And as Steve Jobs said, I have looked in the mirror every morning and I ask myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. To be honest, I thought changing from all zip to forex would be much easier. I have to say it took a good one to two years to find my feet in the forex market, and I haven't turned back yet. What is TradingWisdoms.com exactly? And what will people get out of going to your website? I really believe that the holy grail in trading is not in a chart or an indicator. And it's not solely in the trading psychology side. The truth, the holy grail lies somewhere in the middle. For years I was collecting trading wisdoms from books, blogs, tweets and writing them down. One morning I asked myself why I haven't shared all those wisdoms with other traders. That is how TradingWisdoms.com was born. Anyone can browse over 800 Trading Wisdoms and find something that will make sense to them at the time. Not every Trading Wisdom will suit every trader or investor, but you'll certainly click with ones that are the most relevant to you. This is a free website that I find as my small contribution to the trading and the investing community. Thank you, Igor, for your time and for your personal trading wisdom. I'm sure our 130,000 subscribers will all learn at least one or two things about trading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe for more trading videos.